everybody it's Miss Marie and I'm here today to read to you one of our hundred books every kindergartner should know um, these are books that Miss Alyssa and I have picked um, as just great books to help with kindergarten readiness or readiness for reading or just really fun beautiful stories that you might not have heard of that we'd like you to know about this first one is great it's called Hannah and Sugar and the words and pictures are by Kate Berube and this book is about a little girl who's afraid of dogs and how she comes to deal with that and um, it's really nice um, a, lot of, a lot of people have animal fear of animals so I think it's a great story this book is published by Abrams books for young readers a words and pictures again by Kate Berube and you can see here from her body language she's really afraid of this dog named Sugar and here's the school bus and people waiting to get this for the bus and there's there's sugar Hannah and sugar it's called every day after school Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop and every day after school sugar was at the bus stop waiting for violet P every day after school mrs. P asked Hannah if she wanted to pet sugar and every day after school, Hannah said, no, thank you. She's pulling back, but all the other kids are running over to pet sugar. Every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. And every day, sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. Every day after school, Mrs. P asked Hannah if she wanted to pet sugar. And every single day, Hannah said, no, thank you. And you can see we're going through all the seasons. We've got fall and winter and spring and summer. And Hannah does not want to, to um, pet sugar. And I think the author repeated those lines with different pictures. So you can see this is something that really feels like it's going on a long time for Hannah. A really long time. And there's sugar. And there's Hannah. And huge distance between the two of them. As far away on the pages as they can get. But one day, something was different. Sugar is missing, said Violet P. She's been gone all night and all day. No one can find her. Everyone promised to look for Sugar. Oh, Violet's very sad. And all the other kids and other neighbors are helping. They want to help. Everyone searched high and low, here and there, and everywhere else, too. But soon it was time to go home for dinner, and there was still no sign of sugar. And there are all the houses in the neighborhood, and all the people looking around high and low, low and high, here and there, and there and here, and no sugar. Oh no, now it's dark, dark, it's nighttime. After dinner, Hannah watched the stars come out. She listened to the sound of the trains in the distance, and she wondered how it would feel to be lost in the dark. She decided that it would be scary, and that if she were lost, she would be sad and probably hungry. And there she is, waiting on her porch and thinking about it, and thinking about how sad it would be to, be to be lost in the dark. Then she heard a strange sound, a little whimper. It was coming from the side of the house. She heard it again. She tried to see what was making the sound, but it was too dark. She crawled in between the bushes. And she saw sugar. Hannah gasped. She started to back out. But then she stopped. It looks like sugar's in trouble. Her, her leash is caught all around these twigs. She's not going to be able to get out by herself. Oh, look how close they are now. No words, just a picture of how close they want to how close she's going to have to get. Hannah closed her eyes and took a deep breath. And you see, this is Hannah's eyes closed. And all you see are the little words here. She took a deep breath. And she gently reached out her trembling hand. Sugar sniffed Hannah's hand and rubbed her face along it. Oh, and look, Hannah was able to free her from her leash and get her out of that, that bushes where she was stuck. Hannah's papa was very proud of her, 
and Violet P and Mr. and Mrs. P were so happy to see sugar. Oh my goodness, I bet they were. I bet they were. After that, every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. And every day after school, Sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. And for Hannah to... And that's the end of the story. How a brave little girl overcame her fears in order to help a sad and scared dog. And that is called Hannah and Sugar. And I really love that book, and I hope you like it too. And if you have your 100 books poster, you can cross that off or scratch it off and move on to another wonderful book or listen to this again because it's a beautiful story.